and in the context of a whole red market uh i think trvl is doing quite well yeah i think everyone can agree that they were pleasantly surprised that trvl is up on the day while the whole market is down okay so why is TLVL up? Well, because we had, as the, as the markets went down, the, 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 the value, we had value coming into TLVL. You see that? That was at uh, 3 a.m. this morning. We had uh, an injection of volume to take the price up. Okay, look at it. From Bitcoin, it just went in for that. That's pretty good to see and I think what I'm seeing on TLVL is the continued sentiment which is the higher time frame I don't think anyone is looking to sell okay based on what I'm seeing I'm not saying the price can't go down but I think right now what I'm seeing is the sentiment is quite strongly bullish and rather than people selling their bags at eight cents or 8.1 cents or 7.9 cents, rather than do that, they're seeing that BTC is pulling back and they're looking to pick up more TRVL. That's what I'm seeing. And every right now on TRVL, if you look at the way the price has moved over the last few months, every dip has been a buying opportunity. And we know there's a lot of positive things that are about to be announced this month and I think people are just getting their bags filled they're just filling 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 they're just accumulating more TRVL uh, now I don't think anyone is waiting for lower prices because in the context of what we experienced uh, not last week but the week before I think a lot of people are seeing that we are we have back tested a higher time frame level of support exactly what I suggested it was on fib time the pivot is in and so right now I think a lot of people are probably thinking that that's your pivot is a good place to buy you know when you're looking at the overall higher time frame you you're not far we're not far from the pivot I mean 41 percent is contextual it's all relative yeah it's 41 percent down to the low of the pivot to the all-time high it's 1,794%. So in the scale of things, we are still at the lows, especially after this significant back test that we had a couple of weeks ago. We've already pulled back quite a lot. If you think about how high it was, it was at 12 or so cents or 11.9. We already pulled back a little bit from, from there. It's about 31% back. I'm not saying the price can't drop further, um, but we're not seeing a crazy sell-off on TRVL and this whole drop in, in value was on decreasing volume. Um, yesterday's red candle was slightly higher. That's on Max. but let me go to KuCoin. That's really, KuCoin is the one that I'm really paying attention to. You see, it's quite a low volume decline in price. So it's con again it's a correction that's all it is it's a correction and it also just gives people an opportunity if they're interested in this token to pick it up if you look at the kucoin value area let me update it this is the three-day chart so it's not going to include the current day the current three days so let me just go to the to the daily chart Okay, what's happening is that we're, we're actually above the value area. We've lost, we came above once, we lost it, we came above and we're above it and now we're trying to backtest the value area, okay? If it holds, then you're holding, you're backtesting, you're holding a really important level for support, okay? If it doesn't hold, okay? then the next time we go up it will be final i think because usually i think when i 
it, it's always it's usually third time lucky i think this is the third time because we went up there once this is the second time this is the third time usually it's third time lucky and i am thinking that it will hold but it's trying the price is trying to back test higher time frame levels of support and on kucoin this is quite an important area to flip into support which is the, the the top of the value area if you flip that into support then the route up is going to be relatively easy because you're 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 going into low volume territory yeah you've only got price levels and fib levels but in terms of volume it's quite low volume territory so the price can move up quite quickly and so we're expecting that i mean at the end of this month or by the end of this month we're expecting some a release a big release of the traveler app with sensei that's going to be a first look at this ai cert powered search engine which is going to drive uh D travel direct and where people are going to be able to search for vacation rentals on D travels new platform which has been built that's going to kind of it's a bit a little bit like a, the icing on the cake because then people are going to finally see the cake whereas now you will still make the layers are being built and people still can't see the final construction of the cake so that will be like the final icing not the cherry but the icing um d travel is looking quite good i did expect to pull back um sorry trvl i did i did expect a little bit of a pullback after we put in that monthly candle and the question is just how far does it pull back yeah because you're not going to get these monthly candles well we have in the past like if you see these ones we never really got a pullback um but you usually get a little bit of a pullback before you experience some sort of continuation and as you can see now, we're coming back into a really important level. Not only is it the value area high of this overall range on KuCoin, KuCoin is where the volume is, but you have a weekly level there. And I think the question is, does this weekly level hold as support? Yeah, we'll see. If we, if we, if we end up above it like this, then that will be like an effective back test of this level yeah that's kind of what you want to see and actually the stronger the bullish reaction on this candle the more indication we're going to have of bullishness at the moment we're experiencing a reaction you see that that's a reaction but it's a weekly level candle so you want to wait for the weekly candle to end uh right now we're seeing a weekly reaction on a weekly level okay and we just have to wait for the candle to close effectively okay what i'm seeing in this weekly candle though is something similar potentially to what we experienced here you see this uh kind of inverse hammer green hammer it went up and it came right back down and the next two weeks we had this kind of inverse green doji in the highs and then this kind of wire well, this other green candle i'm thinking possibly we are forming another something like this something similar and i think everything's going to do with bitcoin because when bitcoin finds its strength however long we consolidate here then I'm thinking this is then going to take the next, the next step. Okay. That will make a higher high. And, and that will be a, a, the first change of a weekly time frame market structure. That's what I'm thinking right now. I mean, who knows? No one can predict the future. What I would, I wouldn't mind a little bit of a prolonged flat correction here, but we have to see what happens. No one can predict that. Dan is saying falling wedge. Yeah, there is a little bit of a falling wedge going on. There I say it on the local time frame. It's hard with falling wedges because 
You just don't know when they're going to stop. <laughs> you just don't know when they're going to end. Hey, look, and look, you've got wicks coming above it. You've got... It's not very easy on KuCoin to draw a falling wedge, but there is a little bit of a falling wedge idea in play. Something like that. It is possible that this continues. This is possible. It, it really depends on Bitcoin and it also depends on um, the community and how bullish they are on TRVL. We have a lot of people looking at TRVL right now. Um, a lot of people are buying. Um, I don't mind if it goes down because I'm selling a property. <laughs> I don't want to buy I want to buy a ton of TRVL I don't mind if it goes down personally I'm, very, I'm being very greedy when I say that um, but I'm not too stressed by the price going down because uh, I, I, as soon as the property sells I'm going to buy a crap load of TRVL you know if that's not a signal for everyone then I don't know what is but I'm not I'm not trying to manipulate the market I'm just I'm looking to buy more TRVL that's just a that's just a fact of of what where I am at in terms of my bullishness on this project. So I'm just trying to get that sale through as soon as possible. I'm like desperately trying to get it pushed through. It's at the solicitors now. So I'm not crazy worried that the price is dropping. If the price does go up and my sale happens afterwards, then I won't be just pump, pumping the price. I'll be looking to, again, wait for the correction. You should always wait for the correction when you're looking to pick up tokens. So, I don't know. I hope I hope it holds, but let's see. I want it to hold. I don't, just because I, I'm saying I wouldn't mind it cheaper, I also am thinking to myself, the flatter the correction, the higher the target. So, in terms of my higher, my my imagination of higher targets, I obviously want a flat correction. I obviously don't want lower prices. I want the price to be as flat as possible because I'm still thinking about the higher time frame. I still want us to get to the higher numbers and that's going to require flat corrections as we go up. And then you, Dan, you were asking me about BTC yesterday. Uh, you probably, you're the one who probably bought <laughs> this morning. Uh, it looks like this high volume node that I've got marked is holding a support at the moment. Um, let me just update that um, volume. There, there's a little bit of a high volume node there. Kind of, it came back in perfectly, back tested it, and it, it's so you we kind of in between these two red lines at the moment. I'm not really fussed about the price on this chart. You see, it's very messy. I'm really focused on volume, okay? And when I look at the price ranges, I'm really focusing on the volume. That's usually where the price is reacting. So it's a good idea if you've got your chart to mark them off the highest volume nodes and they, those are good places to buy and sell. You see there's one up there as well. All right. We could range here for a while. Um, that's uh, TRVL. Any questions on TRVL? I think, it, I mean, I think everyone should be quite happy that we went up when the whole market went down. But as Dan says, we are in a little bit of a falling wedge. Yeah, you can see it a little bit more clearly on um, on gate. Hold on, let me just update this volume area here to see if that has any different change. No, that that's still there. You've got a high volume node here where the price reacted. Uh, so let's just go back down. It's a lot easier to see on gate actually.
Is it a wedge or a channel? If it's a wedge. I do like how on this uh, price movement, the bigger the bigger bars, the bigger volume bars are the green ones. I do like that. Green, green, you see that? You've got lots of greens. I actually like that. <laughs> 